Hi everybody, it's Silva again, you from Ferris360. Um, first off, congratulations on finishing your too bad workout for the day. And now the best part is your stretch and your cool down. So, after you've done your Tabata and your workout, just take a couple, like a minute or two before you come down to the floor, just walk around a little bit. So we're going to start with um, several stretches for the lower body. I still want you to use a timer, because I want you to hold each stretch for a minimum of 15 seconds. So I'm going to do it real time. It's going to be 15 seconds each, just so we're not, you know, it's going to be at least about eight minutes of stretching coming up, so you'll enjoy it. So the first stretch we're going to do is our hip flexor stretch. Really important. Heel presses to the outside, tuck the hip. All right, feel the stretch already. Knee about over the ankle. Press right up into the ceiling with your arm. All right, and then you're gonna side bend. All right, so you're gonna side bend, and then turning your torso into the empty space. But you don't wanna turn the hip, right? All right, you wanna keep the hips pretty square. And really actively pressing the hand into the ceiling. That's really good, and changing. And now the other side. All right, and up, and turn. Once you do these a few times, you'll know and we'll put some explanations um, underneath the video so you can uh, understand the stretches. There we go, and release. So that's 15 seconds. It goes by pretty quick. I'm used to stretching a lot longer than that, so uh, 15 seconds does go by quite quickly. All right, so the next one is for our hips. So this is from the squats and the lunges, okay? Knee is bent, keep your feet down, ankle is flexed, not pointed, it's over your leg, pull the leg up in toward the chest, and just relax this leg. I see a lot of people doing this, right? Just relax. The strength in your hip flexor will open up the opposite loop just enough. And changing legs. Flex and pull in. All right, it's always great to have the timer. You want your stretch on a scale of one to five to be a one, one and a half, okay? It shouldn't be intense. Awesome, all right. And since we're on our back, we're gonna go with our hamstring stretch. So if you already know you lack mobility in the back of the leg or you have some tightness in the calf, um, skipping rope, belt, long towel is fine, all right? So to start, you're going to just nice long leg, okay? Hips are on the floor. Flex your foot, squeeze your quad, all right? So it's active straight leg raise. So knee is bent, and you're just going to pull, think about pulling your toe behind your right shoulder, and there we go. So if you're ready, if you have a lot of trouble pulling your leg up, okay? All you would do is you would take the rope, put it around there, and just sort of assist with it, but you don't want to bend the knee. And again, foot is flexed. Good, there we go. All right, so you can do that. Okay, straighten leg, lift. All right, and put the timer on. Be sure when you lift the leg that you're not also lifting the hip off the floor. Press the heel up and the hip down, and then toe to shin. And again, toe is aiming for shoulder or your chin. Stuff. All right. Next one here is just sort of for your chest. It was push-up day. You want to be uh, getting a chest stretch, so you can do it kneeling or standing. I'm just going to do it kneeling. I'm ready here. So hands come behind the back a little bit. Two different ways. I like to sometimes think about holding my elbows or just hands are together here. Let's go hands together and open up the chest. And you don't want to be arching. Okay. So the ribs are still down. And you're just trying to widen your collarbone. All right, that's, that's the premise there. Shouldn't be too intense either. So that'll be one stretch. All right, the next stretch is just palms up, okay, without arching. Just think about pulling your thumbs back behind you. All right, now whatever strength you have in your back will be probably enough to stretch through your chest. stuff. Next one here is just one uh, stretch for our back and through our obliques and the side. So we're going to come into a child's pose position. You know, I want you to think about a clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. You just need to know where 12 o'clock is. I want you to reach forward, okay? Just 
Set the hips back. Now I want you to take your right hand and take it to 10 o'clock. And then think about sitting back. So you can feel this a little bit more down the side, to the side of the arm, pitting down the side of the ribs, just lengthening from your wrist to your hip on the same side. And changing now, left hand goes to 2 o'clock or thereabouts.